Hello again. This is a Math Club video coming to you from the College of DuPage, and the title is March Madness Math, Should I Go All In for My Bracket Selection? The quick answer is no, and the reasons why involve science, naming the probability, and the dynamics of high-level competitive sports. Stay tuned for more on this, but first a comment about the birth of the science of probability. The theory of probability had its origins in games of chance and gambling. It originated from a gambler's dispute in 1654 concerning the division of a stake between two players whose game was interrupted before its close. The problem was proposed by a well-to-do gambler, de Mer, to prominent mathematicians including Blaise Pascal, a renowned French mathematician, physicist, inventor, philosopher, writer, and theologian, shown here on a postage stamp and beside his namesake uh, triangle. And Pascal shared this challenge and his thoughts via correspondence with Pierre de Fermat, a French lawyer and government official most remembered for his work in number theory, and in particular for Fermat's last theorem, which, although true, defied proof for almost 400 years, despite his bold claim scribbled in the margin of the book that he had discovered a truly remarkable proof, which this margin was too small to contain. Now, the correspondence that ensued between these two mathematicians was fundamental in the development of modern concepts of probability, and is documented in unfinished game, a well-told tale of how mathematics is really done and how probability was born by uh, Dr. Devlin. So what is March Madness? It is a single elimination tournament of 68 selected college teams competing for a national championship. On Selection Sunday, an elite selection committee announces all the teams selected, their seedings, and the pairings for the tournament. Big data and serious analytics are involved in this selection. Selection Sunday this year is on March 13th. Uh, the first four play-in games uh, happen uh, later that week. And the first and second rounds ensue over various weekends, culminating in what is called the Sweet 16, Elite 8, and then fi finally the Final Four on early April. So how many games uh, is this? Well, of the 68 teams that uh, get uh, invited to compete in this tournament, every team except one must lose. So it takes 67 games to decide the championship. Now, why is it hard to pick and why is it exciting? These are qualitative factors. Well, the teams are all good and they're very well scouted. There's not a lot of surprises. And the game has changed significantly. Three pointers, time clocks and such. The stakes and adrenaline are high. Uh, we could talk about the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. Some rise to the occasion, some don't. Uh, and there's generally not a home team advantage because you're playing in remote sites. Now, upsets abound. In 2014, the tournament featured over 20 upsets, and the average number of upsets is greater than a dozen per year. More math follows, but in transition, I have to say, go Boilermakers.